The madness for North Dakota State continues today in Columbia, South Carolina. Valley News Live sports director and jet setter Beth Wool has made her way to South Carolina from Dayton, Ohio, and we join her live. Hey, Beth. Yeah, Jet Setter. I feel like that's making it sound a lot more glamorous than this last 24 hours has been. I'll tell you, it certainly has been fun, though, to follow this team on this remarkable journey. Looking at the Bison and the Blue Devils, there's a fair amount of differences between these two programs. You can look at their size, both height and weight. These two teams are very different. You can also look at experience. While both teams are fairly young, the Bison are only playing in their fourth ever NCAA men's basketball tournament, while Duke is playing in its 35th. There were plenty more both on and off the court that we can go through, but no matter, the Bison are taking a crash course today in Duke basketball. But surprisingly, Duke actually isn't nearly as foreign as North Carolina Central was. The Bison basketball players telling me they've watched the Duke Blue Devils all year long on national TV. We got the chance to watch film on them earlier this morning. Um, and just going into this game, we're really excited to play, and we're going in to compete um, and come out on top. It's an unbelievable opportunity to be able to play the number one team in the nation. Um, we have nothing to lose, so you just go out there and play free and play loose and see what happens. That's the power of a Cinderella story. You know, you, you, there's so much on the line for another person. They might get a little bit nervous, and, you know, that's when you attack blood in the water like sharks in open water the bison are on the hunt duke is well aware of that as well coach k asked today uh remembering virginia's historic loss last year asked if it served as a cautionary tale for him and his team coach k said he doesn't need to remember virginia his team's been upset before not 16 to 1 but they've been upset and they know what it feels like all too well tonight at 10 we'll take a closer look at this matchup and how the bison will prepare for duke as well as of course zion williamson the man and everyone has been here to look at. Reporting live in Columbia, South Carolina at the NCAA Men's Basketball Tournament, I'm Beth Houle.